in a second leg side position. And he's caught by Dolavera. Yes, he's out. Seemed to be a little indecision then. A kicking ball. And so Australia are one for one. Quite a sensational opening. Let's have a look at that dismissal again on action replay. Here's Snow coming in. Watch the ball kick off high off the shoulder of the bat. And Oliveira taking the easiest of catches. And so Australia one for one. Snow one for one. From this end, Snow to bowl to Redpath. And at least a couple here steered nicely wide of Edwards. A long chase for Lever, they come back for the second. Red part three, Laurie four, one for seven. Still no change in the attacking field. Steered again. That was a better shot even by Redpath. Possibly three here. They're coming back for their second now. Laurie may look for three. Yes, he's going for it. Laurie turns for the third. Redpath six, Laurie four. Australia one for ten. Snow to bowl to Laurie. More runs, single only. Lorry five, Redpath six, one for eleven. Redpath top scorer for Australia in the first innings. He made sixty-four, and he is out off the first ball of the third day's play. Caught is he? Yes, he's out. Yes. Redpath caught Edrich, bowled Snow for six. Lorry not out five. Australia, 2 for 11. The new batsman will be Walters. Let's watch the action replay. Here's Frank Tyson. Notice how Redpath fails to get over the top of this. The ball seems to lift. And it's off right off the shoulder of the bat and a very simple catch to John Edrich in that very wide slip position. What a terrible start for Australia now. 2 for 11. The incoming batsman, Doug Walters, First ball to Walters. And runs. Yes, it's danger though. Well, not quite. They can get two here perhaps. Walters one, Laurie five, two for 12. And both Chapel and Redpath out to a fast rising ball from Snow. And this pitch, which was apparently placid and easy during the morning session and mid-afternoon when England was batting, now becomes vicious and spiteful. Perhaps it's the different bowler. And another good one from Snow to end the over. Snow, great figures. Three overs, one maiden, two for eight. A round of applause for John Snow for a piece of magnificent bowling. He really has been the man who's never failed in this series so far to achieve the initial. It does seem that fast bowlers work in pairs and hunt in pairs. Snow to Walters. Well, I don't know about that being a chance. It was right down at um, Illingworth's feet. I don't think so. Not by the reaction of Illingworth. It must have been straight down on the ground in front of him. Yes, it almost carried. Um, it was an involuntary shot from Walters and one that could have easily gone to hand. Of course, in the first innings, Walters was the one player I thought who showed a bit of 
courage and spirit in his batting. And if anybody needs some fight if we're from an Australian batsman, I think the crowd would dearly love to see some right now. Australia in trouble, two for 13. Ian Chappell out without scoring. Redpath out for six. 402 to win. A run. That's Luckhurst. They take a single only. Walters three, Laurie five, two for 14. Snow to Boulder Lurry. Snow is a very awkward proposition indeed in the present vein in which he's bowling. He now six, Greg Chappell one, Australia three for 16. An extremely attacking field as you see there. Silly leg and leg slip and short backward square and that slips cordon. Snow to Lurry. Bouncer and he's hooked it high. I've lost it. Now he's going into the fence for four. And about the third bounce, a lovely shot from Laurie. So Laurie 10, Greg Chappell 1, Australia 3 for 20. That's the Laurie of old. Fielded by Lever at leg slip. Luckhurst finishing up doing the fielding. Last ball of Snow's over. It's a short one and well played by Laurie. Ball round about chest high. And fielded by Luckhurst at short backward square. So the end of Snow's fifth over. Bowled one maiden. There you see the sorry picture at the moment. And it's Snow to Greg Chappell. Fielded by Underwood at mid wicket. Tremendous pressure on young Chapel here, of course. We all saw him play that magnificent innings in Perth when he scored 100 in his first test match. But what pressure is on him today is tremendous. Bowled him. Leg stump. Hit his leg stump as he came right across, so Australia 4 for 21. Greg Chappell, Bowl Snow for two. Let's have a look at this again. Notice how Chappell moves so far over that he leaves his leg stump open. Bowl him right behind his legs. It, I, I have noticed that Chappell from time to time has moved so far over to the offside in an attempt to turn the ball away on the leg side that he has left his stumps open. So Australia in real trouble now, four for 21. Mm -hmm. That's Stackpole, the batsman, and bogeyman Snow, the bowler. Snow has three for 13. That ball would have been pitched outside the off stump and Stackpole, of course, played a shot at it, which means, under this new rule, that he is actually not out. Very strong fellow, as you can see there. A magnificent bowler. The field change, we have Illingworth coming over to Silly Leg on the right of your screen. Oh, good ball. That ball actually left him that time, whereas he's been coming back into the batsman. That ball went away from him. What a beautiful delivery.
Uh, runs here. Two possibly to Stackball, being chased by Luckhurst. Stackball coming back for his second run. And he's off the mark with that two. So Stackpole survived that over and in fact survived the rest of the day, as did Australia's dedicated Bill Laurie. They slowly built up their score until shortly after a quarter past five, the umpires decided the light was too bad to continue. Despite their fighting cricket, the Australian second innings at the close was a pathetic 64 for four. He's with Laurie because of Stackpole's liking for the hook shot. Caught, dropped, you know, beautifully caught. Beautiful catch. Beautiful catch by Fletcher, uh, by um, Lever. Lever at third step, and that was a magnificent catch. I thought for a moment he may have dropped that as it went down, but he's taken the ball, and that's a sensational opening. Stack pole, caught Lever, bowled snow for 30. Laurie not out 24, Australia 5 for 66. Replay coming up, Frank Tyson. Let's just watch this catch. It was well to Lever's right. It looked as though it was through. The ball just moved off the wicket slightly. There he goes. A big points to his left. To his left. But what a diving catch. Well, Marsh coming in and look at Snow's figures now. Four for 22. Well, he's done it again, Snow. The man of the match as far as England is concerned. He's consistently broken through. We worked out yesterday he'd taken 18 wickets for the series. That's 19 wickets for the series so far. Snow, his first ball to Marsh. Marsh scored eight only in the first innings. And another good one from Snow. He's making this ball lift from just on a length. In fact, the balls he took, to, took wickets with, the one to Ian Chappell was a good one, the one to Red Path was a similar type, and that one to Stackpole was another one which Rose sharply to find the edge of the bat. The batsman to follow for Australia would be Mallet, McKenzie. Gleason and Connolly, all of the bowlers to come in. Chance brilliantly caught. Magnificent catch by Willis. Willis took a, took a great catch at the finer of the two gullies, and there it was. Marsh, a diving catch, and only a man six feet six possibly could have taken that catch. Marsh out without scoring, caught Willis, bowled Snow, Snow has 5 for 22, Australia 6 for 66. Now let's look at this replay. This is a man 6 feet 6, he really died, Frank Tyson. Well that was a remarkable catch, just look at this. Uh, Marsh not getting far enough across to it. Off high off the bat and a brilliant catch. And that just shows how catches close to the wicket uh, can win matches. Well, we've seen the most remarkable beginning to this morning's play. Of course, the match was virtually concluded before the, the game began this morning, but uh, it depended largely whether Australia could survive on Stackpole and Laurie. But it wasn't to be Stackpole out, and now Marsh out. And Mallet steering that one well down to the ground. Mallet, although he is the first of the Australian bowlers to come in, has some reputation as a batsman. Wasn't so successful in the first innings, he was out for four only. Snow to Mallet. And again, well played, but look, the batting glove flew away. Mallet threw that backwards, and that hit him right on the hand. Now, the batting glove, look where Snow, the wicketkeeper not goes. So that's Mallet's batting glove. Now, that got him on the bottom hand. And I should think that four of Snow's five wickets have come from that rising ball, which has all of the batsmen in trouble. Ian Chappell got one first up, so too did Redpath, then Stackpole and Marsh. 
Illingworth to Mallet. Three maidens, none for six. Laurie, 27, facing snow. Single here as it's gone past Luckhurst, but taking a second as Lever comes into field. Laurie, 29, Mallet, 6, 6 for 79. No to Laurie. More runs here to Laurie. Boycott chasing it. It could be four. They've run two as Boycott picks up just inside the boundary. Very good return. Laurie moves to 31 and the total to 81. Six for 81, Mallet six. Snow to Laurie. No ball called. And four runs. Sundry's moved to seven. And it's six for eighty five. Laurie swing at the ball, didn't get a didn't get a touch. Notice the scoreboard has been amended. Laurie did get a touch to that kicker from Snow, and so his score has gone to 35. Mallet six, six for 85. Sundries are three. Snow over the wicket to Laurie. Runs here as he plays it back with a square leg. They take a single. Went past Luckhurst and fielded by Lever. Laurie 36, Mallet 6, 6 for 86. Snow bowling his 15th over. Next ball to Mallet. Mallet trying to, I think, avoid that one or turn it. Struck on the arm. Particularly nasty ball. And so the end of another over from Snow. 15 overs, four maidens, five for 36. Nine runs off the over. It'll be interesting to see whether Snow bowls any bounces at McKenzie. Uh, he has done so to Mallet. He runs here, might even be four leg buys, possibly. We'll just wait and see whether he got an edge to it. Now it's four runs to McKenzie. So McKenzie now six, Laurie 48, seven for 104. Snow's last ball to McKenzie. A good over from Snow. He's now bowled 16 overs, four maidens. It'll be Dolavira to bowl to Laurie. And, and it's rather noticeable that Snow hasn't bowled any short deliveries at McKenzie. As yet.
Oh, that was a nasty one. Hit him on the face. Uh, that was a nasty one. Really nasty. Goodness me, it seemed to hit him on the forehead or the eye or something. It could be the nose. He seems to be holding his nose. What a nasty delivery. Oh, the blood's all over his shirt, as you can see there. And uh, so Mackenzie retiring hurt here. That's a nasty one. The board showing there, you can see, 7 for 110. With Mackenzie just above where it says batsman. Not out six, or retired hurt six. Gleeson, they're coming to the wickets now, and it'll be Snow bowling to him. Gleeson, of course, does not like the pace bowlers too much, and uh, Snow could uh, quite easily secure another wicket here. No, another nasty one, and he seems to have a patch there. That one was a nasty one. We. We seem to see something coming out of the wicket uh, as it hits that particular area. In fact, Gleeson coming down now to tap it down. Saying a word to Willingworth. <laughs> Nearly bowled him. Must have gone very, very close to hitting that stump. So the end of uh, a good over from Snow, although an unhappy one for him, I would think. Hitting Mackenzie like that would no doubt upset Snow because he didn't bowl a bouncer at him. It just came up from a good length. We'll just wait as Fletcher bowls the first ball of his first over in this test match. Snow to Gleeson. Australia with what could be eight wickets down, needing to bat for another four hours to save this match, and that's highly unlikely. Perfect weather in Sydney, cool nor'easter breeze, bright blue skies above, so little likelihood of light affecting the play or rain. Bold, clean bold, and Snow has bowled Gleeson without scoring. Snow has six for 40. Leeson clean bowl, Laurie not out 60, 8 for 116. It's a terrific swing he has. He would probably finished up over a deep third man's head if he'd have hit it. And that was a very straight ball. It wrapped the middle stump. This may well be the last wicket. Mackenzie may not bat again. So Snow bowls to Connolly. Out to boycott and covers. And is he out? Yes, it's all over. He's caught. The wicket has fallen. Snow has taken seven for 40. Connolly caught not. Bowl Snow, no score. The match is all over, Mackenzie is not going to bat on, and Bill Lurie has batted right through the Australian innings, a wonderful performance by him. So, a great victory for England, and the hero of the day was John Snow, and what a tremendous bowling performance that was, John, one of the best I've seen in Test cricket.